Hey guys, Cynthia Maynard here. I hope you're doing well today. Um, I've got another option to use our for our April 2016 paper pumpkin uh, stamp sets that we've got. And I made this card panel here um, with some pretty blue and um, pool party and daffodil delight and some no heat foiling. I'm going to show you how to do that without having to drag that laminator out. Alright, so it says know what I like about you? Everything. Okay, so what a fun car with a little washi tape. So we're going to go ahead and get started on that today. All right, I've got some cardstock already cut here to size. The blue is in a five by six piece, and that's going to be our base. And to that, we're going to use this really cool looking mustard washi tape. So I'm going to go ahead and start applying that right to the edge because we're going to have a little bit peeking out. It's going to pick up that Daffodil Delight. And we've all have tons of rolls and washi tape lying about that uh, need to use up. Here's your chance. <laughs> Let's trim that off. I'm going to go ahead and apply our piece of white cardstock to the back here with some snail type adhesive, just permanent adhesive. That is very goopy today. <laughs> Super goop. Okay, and I'm going to line that up. So we'll go ahead to that. Here's how we're going to foil. I've got some deco art um, pink foil. You can use whatever colors you like and it comes on this roll and you get quite a bit. That may not look like it, but you do get quite a bit. And this is a great chance to use your scraps and bits that are left over. We're just going to use some mini glue dots. And I'm going to go ahead and apply them randomly to the card. So find your little, oh, I got one on my thumb. <laughs> I didn't want to be foiled. Foiled again. <laughs> okay, so we've got a glue dot. I'm just going to stick it on there like so. Just random pattern. Hardest part is finding where the dot is. <laughs> And these are super sticky, and that's why our foil is going to stick really well to, to these little dots. I got them all. Need some more. There's one. come in with our foil the color you want to see we need to put that up so we're gonna go ahead and come in and we're just gonna smudge with our finger like a foil massage pull it up there it is and I love how easy this is you know there are days I use my laminator and do some proper foiling as they say but uh, you know it's nice to be able to just do a quickie card and add some shine and luster to it without having to dig out a bunch of contraptions, wait for it to heat up, you know, those days you kind of forget to do, make a card that you were supposed to make <laughs> for someone's birthday or something, or maybe something bad happened and you just need a quick card, you just want to pop it in the mail and tell them you're praying for them, you're thinking of them, this is a good one kind of encourage people with. We need some encouragement nowadays. Everything's kind of... The news is full of stuff we just don't like to think about. Alright. How easy that is. I've got myself some foil. Barely any expense. And I still have a ton of scrap left over. Now I'm going to go ahead and stamp in the Daffodil Delight. We're going to use our, from our stamp set, which is the whole point of why we're doing this. Um, our smaller flower and I'm just gonna kind of randomly go in with that. And make It's like we're making our own pattern paper essentially. Right? And I'm going to stamp off the paper a bit without stamping on my flowers. I was testing some colored pencils. <laughs> um, there, and maybe one over 
over here. Whatever looks right to you. Just have fun with it. Um, then, actually, you know what? I've got a bare corner there. Okay, baby wipe. Baby wipe. They clean everything. Um, then I'm going to go with this little swooshy here, also from the stamp set, and with the pool party color. I like it. It's like a distressed sort of leaf. And also going to randomly um, go ahead and stamp that out. And you can kind of change directions with it. Just create a sense of balance. Whatever we do, we can vary what we do, but we always want to create some balance. Again, I need to, yeah, I'll use one of those to stamp off on. Just makes it look more natural when you go off the page a bit. Okay. Easy peasy, as they say. All right. Our sentiment, you know what I like about you? Everything is going to be on this blue, if I can pick it up, this blue cardstock that measures three by two. And I'm going to go ahead and round one of the corners first with my corner rounder here that's being attacked by glue dots. I'm going to come in and line that up. And I just like that look. It just reminds me of, like, is that like the state of Nebraska or something? <laughs> <laughs> it's one of our states. But anyway, um, I'm going to use Hero Art Shadow Ink and a charcoal because I didn't want black seem too abrupt with our nice springy colors. I liked the idea of gray. I like gray and blue and yellow together. I have a sweater like that's like that. And so I'm going to go ahead and stamp that off to the side a bit. Press it down and wait a little bit. Just give it a few seconds to let the ink absorb into the paper. And for our spot there, for our flower, all I did was I took some score tape and a small flower punch. And score tape is super sticky, double-sided tape. And I went ahead and punched one out. And then you can just use that on whatever. You don't need to cut it off. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that where I want it. And you could do a few of them if you want. And then just peel off the backing. Oops, to make sure it's stuck down there. And then we have that little sticky spot there. I'm going to come back in with our foil and give it a rub. There, I got it all. Nope. When that happens, you just come back in with some more. In a spot that you haven't used yet. I do that. My tape runner here again. I'm having trouble picking things up. <laughs> My mat needs to be cleaned or something. Um, okay, and maybe two thirds of the way up ish, and you want to line it up with the side of the white paper because we, we don't want to block our washi tape in this instance and go ahead and adhere that down. And you can just put it on a matching card base, just double the, you could have it open this way or you could have it open this way, just whatever way, just double it and measure, it's super easy, and score it and bend it and you're good to go. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, another thing to do with our stamp set from the April Paper, Paper Pumpkin, <laughs> I always have trouble saying that super fast, and a great way to do some non-heat foiling and using our score tape and glue dots. So super simple guys, and your punches. Alright, if that was a help to you, give me a like like, a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on anything. And if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below, and I'll take a look at those. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today.